Take a seat, sir. Seat. Look, you're not going to analyse your way out of this one. So just sit down. I will have done my job. And you can just... Go hang your help. Uh, me, I meant me. Right, sir. You ever made a mistake? M my daughter drew this when she was five. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> she was four and a half. Daddy helping a man see the sunshine. Strange how a child thinks, eh? Very strange. I'm the tadpole man, and, and that's who I've helped, and, and that, that's the blue, uh, red sun. God damn it, I've been a psychiatrist for 21 years. Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, it's just transference. <laughs> I just thought that if I told her she'd... Look, you knew she was a head case. Yeah? You're not allowed to have sex with them. End of it in my books. Is that what they're saying? The sad old quack shagged the nymph. Well? I've said too much. I've Under said... Orders, eh? eh? I've said too much. I don't have to like you. And I don't. I need to talk to Mr. Sims. Look, you can't stop me. Look, I just need to get to the bottom of all this bloody mess, OK? I have my orders, Dr. Walsh. No one to speak or to do... Well, uh, there's psych evaluations for your HR. You know, they can be reassessed, you know, now if you just let me get them. Let me see them, okay? Yeah. Oh, you can have five minutes. Yeah. I'm staying right here. What you think, let me stay. Well, in my professional opinion, what the fuck were you doing? I just, well, I screwed up after losing that last. Oh God! I just screwed up. Listen, you mean? You know, I can't believe it. I can't believe that I'm sat here talking to my mentor. You know, we, us, our profession, we have an ethic, ethical code. You know, damn you, Jack. You're in one hell of a hole. Why? How could you? It was the woman. The woman, yes. God, I'm gonna lose it all. My wife, we were. She would sing while doing the housework. She, she has this habit of leaving tea bags to drain in, in the sink. I stopped her singing, Barry. What, what have I done? I've heard her singing. I've heard her singing. This woman. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. She she committed suicide. Killed a child and committed suicide. No, 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 no. You, you're mistaken. Your patient. She took an overdose. She's still alive. Not her. Well, then who? You've got four minutes. Well, I'm aware of the time. Who was she, Jack? It's. It, it is. Oh, it's too bloody. Oh, yes, you can tell me. We have the time. Oh no. 
You've got three and a half minutes. Look, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'll forget my Hippocratic oath and I'll just come around there and I'm going to plant you one in your fucking cheek. Well, Sam, he's just, he's just a bull with a mania phobia. <laughs> Tell me about the woman, the one who died. What? Oh, uh, she killed her disabled son, then herself. Devoted mum. She came to me for help, and I was too reserved. I didn't put anything into the doctor patient relationship. Oh, and you certainly put something into the relationship. <laughs> you have told her. No, 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 no. Barry, he's got a point. Everyone thinks I had sex with my patients now. See? And for your information, I'm not employed by the Institute, so I don't think the sex doctor there, or his student, who, by the way, is after your job, Mr. Sims, can do a thing to me. Do you think? Do you think for one moment that I'm scared of you to... Ah! You were left on the lock-up ward without our... Uh, you know, our backup from us, us. How long do you think you'd survive? Oh, by the way, you've got just over two minutes. Is that true, Barry? Are you after my job? <laughs> no. Not, not at all. In time. Maybe in time. Why? Why? I'm next in line. If there is a line. You shit. A bit anal, Jack. You creepy shit. I, I'm not after your job, Jack. You come in here and make out that you're my faithful student. I'm not after your job. No? Okay. Okay, if in the future, if it, if it, if it comes up, Yes, but this is so childish. Look, look, Jack, you moved into an old man's shoes two months before his announcement of his retirement. Well, so. It's been shown the road. Yeah, and Anna. She, uh, well, she was before your time. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. I got her job, remember, after she put a complaint about being overlooked. She was promoted sideways till she left. Glass ceiling was banded about for years. The crap I had to put up with. Well, you didn't know like I did. She was completely mad. And what? You were afraid that she'd bring the institute into disrepute like now? God, you'd hit hard and low. And you have a patient on a drip claiming that you raped her. <coughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, and you know that I don't want your job. I don't want your job, not like this. Been put out on gardening leave, you know that? by the box. Mm. Listen, you know that I'm always there for you. Mm. All the way. I'm not a shit. Sorry. It's just I've committed the worst sin a man can make. The sex. No, no, not the sex. Well then what? Falling out of love with the only woman I've ever loved. My wife. <laughs> I go in through that door, a successful doctor. 
Who knows how many people I've saved in 21 years? Hundreds. Could be. More even. And then... And then you, you have to come out of that door. I lose my job, I could lose my wife, my children. 21 years of making a difference and five years of studying. You lose, lose your, freedom. your freedom if the police find out. Jack, if, if I get the promotion, one thing, I will make sure that the institution throws its full way of support behind you. Oh, ironic. I spent my whole adult life saving people from themselves and I'm, I'm left a wreck just because I wanted to save somebody, somebody who didn't want to save herself. One minute, then you've got to go in, Mr. Sims. And there's another one thing I'll be looking into if I get the promotion. What? The security contracts. <sighs> I've got to meet my two. Might not be that bad. Given time. Given time. Um, she'll see you now. One last favour. Anything. I'll this for me. I don't want to look like a total loser. Not in front of her. And then there was two. Mmm. 